the volume of work that we are doing country roads and roads, we have um, outlived our usual supply. This is why we're saying this plant is a modern plant and is the most modern plant that you will find in the Caribbean. If the Minister of Public Infrastructure, David Patterson, has his way, roadworks in Guyana will move to a whole new level. And he has positioned the roadworks department for just that. We have a lot of work to do. We want to do um, much more. But obviously with a bigger, better um, asphalt plant, we can, um, we can actually do more work at a cheaper cost. The newly constructed industrial asphalt plant was designed in Germany but assembled here in Guyana and will serve also as a recycle plant of sorts. We can create an industry of recycled plastics. People go collecting plastics, chipping it, cleaning it and sell us. We can use that as part of our mix. We can use recycled rubber. So the car tires that has been um, thrown away, you can take that, chip it use that as part of the, 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 the material. The general manager of the Demerara Harbor Bridge, Ralston Adams, says that the direct benefits to the Guyanese taxpayers is the improved quality of roads that will be realized. And they will also be able to satisfy the expected high demands for road works. They will benefit from better quality roads. We'll be able to know to produce a lot of asphalt because the demand is the, the demand for infrastructure development come post 2020 is going to be very very high the asphalt plant was acquired at a cost of some 490 million Guyana dollars for channel 2 headline news Wendell Jeffrey